So good evening to you once again. If you just joining us, this is the Upper Live Show. We do this each and every Tuesday right here on TGM Radio. I go by the name DJ Rick Up and Live on behalf of myself. Dragon All Star, Fire Q, Breads, Liquor Brown Rasta. Every week we bring you the best of the best from the UK around the world. And as we said before, we have a superstar inside this studio with us this evening. The man we are throwing the whole world. I go out with a bag of things from 19 how long me I listen to film mixtape, tape. The man say, yeah. Him forward it, and him then in the UK right now, gonna have a conversation with us. People, the man himself, Kareem Hype, is here. Good evening to you, sir. How you doing? Big up yourself, brother. Where you going, Eddie? I don't think I hear your forward, so, Brent, so you're going to say that again. <laughs> I know me I hear everything good. Welcome to the UK, sir. How you doing? You're welcome. Big up yourself, brother. I'm there, I go and enjoy it, you know? Of course. You, you see, like, you, you, you like the UK side because you're there regular. But well, to be honest, I feel like more um, the UK be my second home. Why? 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 Why Things we imagine you, you, you always want is like it coming like nothing to you. Okay, so give us a, like a little synopsis of like Karim Hive there. How the music thing started for you? Was it like a Jamaica thing or you, you born in the UK? Um, um, it was a Jamaica thing to be honest. So it's like I'm a born in a music basically. It's like um, um, when I was a younger youth, it's like we used to like record um, like all of the radio show them. Like put in cassette and, and like record the show because at that time we never had money for buy a record and buy it. Sure. You know, my sister says like me used to like listen to the radio on Saturday, like sit down because you know you have to sit down because once you miss the pro, you know, once you miss your good song, yeah. you want a record, yeah, you can't hear it, you can't hear it again. So it's like the love for music was just so, you know, my way. But just like I always have cassette or record. I mean, basically, we never that buy the cassette them over and over. Mm -hmm. We used to like a record over that means uh, when you know when you record for eight sixty minutes yeah. and you want a next recording you have a record back over the sixty minutes. That means uh, whatever you record the week before. Re <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I, I get look up. Yeah, so it's like the love for music was from them time there and we used to listen like Barry G and all of them at Jamaica says that my recording program. Okay. And so you so know where in Jamaica were you growing up? Is it the countryside or no, the town side. Okay. Kingston, Waltham Park Road. Waltham. Yeah, I see a place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's why I thought of Waltham. Um, Moline's Road. Um, the Harvey Road. Okay, yeah, there further so, up the road. So what was the transition you made? Because obviously you, you made a name for yourself yeah. when you you you, you moved you moved to the America. US. Yeah. yeah. So when yeah you? when I get to the US now, it's kind of um, it's like to be honest, super touch. We used to play Africa with um Steely, mm -hmm. and all of them Mataran. You know, it's like. That was like we become friends and this uh, like everything link and you know Twitch and Mataran was like best of friends. Yeah, so that's how me become a family in the whole thing. You know what I mean? Okay. But Mataran was like always an idol to me. He's not my, you know, so he become a brother. Yeah. So it's like the link set and from there, just by meeting them two, Twitch and Mataran is like it was, everything was history. Fully loaded all of them thing there, come and play. Okay, so you're a part of you, you play a um, fully loaded. Um, yeah, I play a fully loaded. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I remember Last I've one. known I've seen him you know, from me. I play so long time. I always see this this carry in my family. I say, but we never really see the face. True, because a lot of people are to be honest with you, like everybody to, to feel like my hype. But if my hype is a reason to, you know what I mean? The name. Yeah, my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Me have a hype, but when them say my hype, me say me have a reason to because you know the resume is long. Yeah. So you know, so basically, when them say my, I'm very humble. So so what happened? So how you get the name hype? Nah, how me get the name hype? Tell the truth, me even know how it reached but me know who gave me the name. Me and John hype was like friends. And he, you know, and everybody used to associate me with him like it was bridging or whatever. Oh, okay. See, that's one link. Yeah, it was like a link. You know, at the time it was like a crew thing. So you used to dance as well, though? Yeah, but I could go home to you, man. I could go home to you, brother. I have my thing. I have my thing locked. No, I could go home now. I can't really move like how I used to move them times. Because I know the bone them, you know what I'm saying? But I have like one and two things, you know? When I play on something, I have my style. But I can't really move like that because I'm not really... Young no more, you know, so you know the thing go. 
So the name of your sound um, is Landmark. Ah, uh, yeah, Landmark. So explain so, Landmark for me. Is it a sound system or is it just your individual sound system? All right, to, to be honest, how oh, Landmark become a um, sound name now? It was um, me and Twitch, though, 14 years together. Yeah. Was 14 years together. And then in the last part of the 14 years, it's like we used to be like, um, everybody that call him, give themselves a name. Like, every man I said, I'm a number one. And, you know, me was always the type when we never want to be number one. I just always want to be consistent. Yeah. So it's like, always be like, er, once, you be, you, once you reach the US or you, you reach Florida, yeah. you have to hear about we. It's like, we are the man okay. back in the days. You know what I say? Right now, you, like, not for the name, you might hear for them because you, them are the future, them are the good. I understand. But back then, if you're not here about we, when you're reaching at the States. Oh, no, the rest on the billboard. Yeah, you know, make no sense. So it's like, I say, yo, here we go. On. Super, we're going to name myself Landmark. That means uh, once you reach on the ground, them office away. It's like, the, what, 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 um, the landmark for land, um, oh, England Bridge, name, land, the, land the, the clock, yeah, or the, yeah, the, the, the landmark. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, that, that's how the meds come from. Okay. So basically, you know, we say, yo, we are the landmark. So we never want to say landmark of Florida alone because it feel like, we just it's just one place. Okay. We are the landmark of the whole place. So we just say landmark and then eventually after that now we separated after 14 years. And then when I separated, um I say I I brought up the name and it was like at the end part of our career or whatever. So I say, you know, me bring it up. So I was like, yo, you know what? I, I carry over everything with me. Yeah. You know? And then I basically went to Jamaica for Dream Weekend. Mm -hmm. And then I was there with me and Bounty Killer did a par. You know, I went to Dream Weekend, that's when we just separated. I never did no shows or anything. And then me and Bounty drive to Negril, and then we were standing in daydreams. And we were standing in daydreams, and then Killer was like, no, we just drink some champagne, and him just turn around to me and be like, because him know, so when we reach back at the US, it's like a new venture for me. It's like, I, I never know what I going to do, basically. So him turned back around to me, and Killer was like, yo, a landmark if you name the thing. Youth. Yeah. Youth. You know what I say? Landmark. When him turned on, when him said to me, I was like, you know what I say? True. It's like, me just feel the vibe, the yeah. name, everything. Yeah. You know? And he was like, yo, believe me, do it. And everything we did, I've just forget about it. Me, I gave back everything. And, you know, it's like, me just confident and take it and when I reach well, back. That's a, that's a killer. Yeah. Killer something to go work. Yeah, because you don't have my brother that, so you know it go. Exactly. But, mm -hmm. but since you've been to the UK, you look like we probably have a call the feds because you come, <laughs> you come with a whole heap a drip, a whole heap of ice. We don't want to ever rub the queen in them because we don't want to really, really go on. Because people, you may not can see. But, I, um, I am letting the queen in man. The ice rolling in the neck and freeze. The wrist and freeze off. So I don't know if you, if you see anything that's missing on... I don't know. That's why. That's the man. And that's why I'm on the England car. Keep the ice. Ice. <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, you know, it's like, um, me, me, me easily get bored, like what I say. So it's like, I'm made up on a new venture now. Like, you know, I've been to come to the UK, but I never get the run like what I get now. Okay. Like, basically, like, there for like at least two to three weeks. You know, and really get for see because for real, this was like my first time in Birmingham since coming to the UK. Because okay. usually, I always come to the UK like for a couple of days when I do you either Europe tour and, and it, I always have to over. connect, yeah. And then I would stop and do like do a show for Andrew Fresh or somebody, and, and I just leave the next day or something like that. But I decide this time I'm gonna stay for like three weeks and I'm gonna, you know, yeah. get to know the place. Far back now, so on. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, they must set up a tour right now for, for summer because the running was so successful. It's like, it made me get to open so much gates right now. Well, like so well as any artist, anybody, if you can make it in England, the world are yours. Exactly. <sighs> no, if you can make it in England, you know what? The money, the porn, you no, know? No, no, that may not. In, any artist can tell you from any genre. If you can mash up the land, the UK market, mm -hmm. if you can do that, they not really say cannot do in that business. Because UK people, them, them different, dog. Yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, they are. <laughs> and yeah, they are. For instance, I, I, I realize I've watched you play um, Lit Friday. Lit Friday, yeah. That was the only time I see you. Yeah. Yeah. And your juggling is a bit different from, obviously, you play America. Yeah. So, I just want to ask you, because I listen to your juggling, and I realize most of your juggling, um, like, for instance, we're talking about the pitch. Okay. Your 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 pitch is consistent, like how the Jamaicans play. Like you keep it hovered around the center, where it's not yeah. too fast. Yeah. 
is there a particular reason? Because even how you deliver the songs, they're much slow and it felt different, but refined. it felt refreshing to refined. Me because it's not as rush. Fast. Yeah. Is there a particular reason why you decide to play that way? All right. To to, to be honest, you don't know. It's like I'm from the old school. Yeah. Really. So it's right now. It's like I have to really up my age. And you know, so it's like, <laughs> me not really that old still, you know, but well, you yeah. know what I mean? But me I come from the school, yeah, me, uh, me, I come from a school where me, me know about people are slow dance and stuff yeah. like that. But me notice say uh, like the pitch of the music now change because the younger generation them mm -hmm. have it at a level them feel like it's just a speed game. You know, but the thing with me you now, it'd be like, me know is that's not right. Me know right from wrong. It's like, I don't feel like me for be the one for a follow. Yeah. Like your grandmother you always say, don't follow a fool and turn idiot. Yeah. So it's like me no say that's not right. So you need people to enjoy the music more than because a lot of these people feel like it's it, it's it's a talking game to even with the DJs. Them. It's not about that, you know. It's more about the music. You know, a lot of these men are MC. They're not DJs. Say that again. <laughs> a lot of them are MCs. They're not DJs. Like Kareem, 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 Kareem. Don't, don't, don't make Rick make a can't come back to England, dog. Don't, <laughs> no. don't do it. <laughs> no. But, but it's, it's, it's reality. Yeah, we're talk, we talk logic. And if somebody really depend on the live right now and them really feel away, you know, because what I say is true. It's like, this is like a motivation for them to sit down and huh? think to themselves yeah, and say. Like that, but go on. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. No. In, it, <laughs> in UK here, um, obviously, the talking plays a major role in the, in the dance scene because yeah. it's, because I think the hard, there's two different types of uh, dance in UK. You have the hardcore street dance Yeah. And then you have the, the commercial yeah. section. Well, I think the UK hardcore likes the talking more yes, yeah. alright. I gotta touch a topic with that now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Since I've been to the UK, I've been I, I realized alright. The, in the UK they, 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 we, no, before I reach the UK, in the US we have like two different markets where I call uptown market and same garrison way. whatever. It's the same thing over here. Same. It's just totally different because y'all call it British or English people, yeah. whatever. Yeah, English you know? Them. We would call that like the uptown in the US, uptown people. Mm -hmm. You know. Since I've been here I mostly play in most like the English part is like, you know, yeah. so I get a, a better vibes from the, the, the crowd. The whole dance hall, dance hall thing is, I see it is a total difference. It's, very it, it's more aggressive. It's more aggressive, but I'm, me, me at the top of DJ, we can, I could play anywhere, you know, we can be real garrison or we can be real uptown, you know what I say? But to be to, like me there now, I really like the, the British side more. But I know for balance it. Yeah. You know? And a lot of them can't really balance it still. Okay. We're reaching this um, valuable part of the, the concept now. Have you, do you do clashes? All right. So for now, no. But I did before. Why? Okay. Why, why the sudden change? What no, I can't do it. No. The only, I think the re, it has to be a reason behind it. Well, like somebody this year, it financially makes sense? No, not even. It wouldn't be. It would be financially makes sense. I wouldn't say financially. You know, but I really feel like it's a beneficial to my career. With that is understandable. That yeah, it's a beneficial to me. After that, don't it push you further than? Yeah, uh, if it's not beneficial to my career, I don't think I need like how? it. Like what? You, you like say for instance? Like if Red Bull Clash called me right now, I'm ready. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so why if I'm a, a trooper say, Yo, carry my if I'm where I make nice? You know no, I'm ready to do it because I'm a legend. Okay. You so, know what I say? So, so why liar squad rush and say they're ready? It don't make no sense. So you say it don't make no sense. No, it don't make no sense. Not what yeah, but I don't know them like that, so it's like I don't know if them are. I don't know, not, it's like, this is not like I'm not because I'm bridging them too, you know. Okay. You know, I see them all with heel and each other, but I just say, like, I know of them. No, but this is, this is the problem that I'd I have to do my research, I'd have to do my research first. So basically, um, for your career wise, when if you fall upon a show like this or any other, even them would have said the same thing the too. Name drop, the name drop make more sense because if you say some name or some commission where. It's not really recognized. It's like, how is it helping the career? Basically, I'm trying to say, and financially, I just that when it's done, it will make a stamp in the culture. See me. So, the reason why I ask is because, uh, no, me not cut the press, sorry. No, me don't, me don't, man. It's because Clash was an intricate part of dance yeah. art. Yeah. And he's, it's been suffering for the last yeah. few years. And obviously, when I really get to have no, no new um, established DJs, and they all were formed because of Clash. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you yourself, 
you did a few classes mm-hmm. back in the days. Mataran, mm-hmm. name all the top slicker them name we can think of. Fire Links. Fire Links. He made his name Joe Clash. Yeah. yeah. Everyone that we can think of made. There's not that arena has died. Yeah. Basically. True. True. Who can you name me a new selector that's emerged without being a, a, in a the part of that community? generation? Without a part. Without. New being crap. A part new of crap. The, the, the without, yeah. Without being a part of that generation with the yeah. Fire Links and the Mataran of them. Yeah. All right. But I think like, uh, to, like Chris Diamond is one of them too, you know. Chris Diamond is well, like. Chris Diamond, he, he was here. Chris Diamond. Yeah, Chris likes Diamond is a. Eh? Chris Diamond likes to class. Me, Ray Chris Diamond. Chris Diamond is ever ready. Right, Chris, Chris, all Chris really need is the same thing we're talking about right now. Like the question we were just talking about, Lyle Squad. They would have think the same way too. Mm-hmm. If they're listening, they would have say, it, is, it, is, is, is it relevant to Clash Kareem? You know what I mean? Not because just him come from the US anyway. Is it relevant? That's true. You know what I mean? So basically, what the what Christian man I go through now is basically the same thing. You see, a lot of them f- feel like if them be Christian man that leverage there, it's not beneficial to them. You know what I mean? So if Christian man really get for clash like one of them, like BSA this year, one of them right now, yeah, but we them feel like they are giving. Eh? We asked basically this is the question, and basically this was like Christian man is not ready. Be on the you can't say that though. But that, 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 you can't say that. But that's always a problem, you know. See, people, when it comes to clash, yeah, them father, you're not ready. But any conversation here, yeah, you have a contender, you have a champion. So yes, you're not going to be the champion, you have a contender. True. You see me? So, Chris Diamond is more like the popcorn half in generation card. True. He's far from the other half of the old school. Yeah. In the middle of the new school and a carry on. So, it's weird for him. So, they know uh, they like, as I said, let them know and give him the. the just the dating. Yeah, you them don't want to give him that leverage. Yes. But you see, sometimes too, bro, it's like, sometimes when you don't have nothing to lose to, you can do it. Mm-hmm. You know, you send a new generation on yeah. the road. Me don't really have that leverage there for send a new generation on the road right now. You reckon? Huh? You reckon? You probably, you know, I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I just say you see me at all. You actually probably do. You just... Have, just I might, yeah, but... Bring but yeah, but yeah, 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 that's true. That's, and that's how me think. You know what I mean? I would feel like Mataran and them because them of them them of more of a, a legend in the clash thing you know like the only clash i ever did was um one time when in major hype them draw me out you know some foolish them, the know, thing. yeah remember that clash yeah. right yeah. and it's like all right you know them they underestimate me it, this i like got play right down to what we are say with chris diamond or whatever same thing happened to me i was my basically in my house and Matter and the man, major hype them all of them attack. And I say, oh, um, we're going to start an online clash. That was one of the best things in the pandemic or whatever. And he's like, him say, um, we're going to make Karim kick it off first or whatever. And him, major hype was like, yo, Karim, him not a song. Him, no, him never said me not a song. Him say, uh, Karim, I'm going to play some souls and whatever, whatever, whatever. Like him know your box. Yeah, like him know your box. So it's like, um, Matter and was like, yo, don't take Karim like I remember saying, my every artist, if I remember saying Karim, my every artist, good. Yeah. And Karim, you feel like, Cause there's a if we sit down right now and talk that interview, it's like so much for talk about because I already the seven years in my career, okay. solo, and in you know, the seven years I got back everything that I have fifteen I, I years ago. Yeah, so I was fifteen years. Year yeah, so it's like I see, I see the production as well. Yeah, I do. When I reach that level, there's so much resume long, you know. You know, so that's why when them say, yo, I'm hype, you have to say I'm hype for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You're raising me very long. Bro, you have to embrace this. I see things as well. You have to embrace that because they say, when a man asks why, it, it shows them the CV and it's like, bro. Yeah, sometimes I have to roll it out. Just uh, roll it out, show them. You know, one time when me I play music and them feel like they want to feel themselves, I just have to make them Put know. Them at them just place. like when filings are playing, say, yo, my mom have Grammy plaque on them something there. You have to talk about them things, boy. You know what I'm saying? You have to talk about them something there. Makes sense. Yeah. So, carry your mind now. Um, what, what, what is. The aim for you moving forward. Now. Obviously, you conquered so much in your career. You're at this stage now where you're known for doing so much. What it, would you say is the next level for you? All right, to f- <sighs> channel. The next level is. Ah, uh, but not say me really. I uh, me not really want to run left dancer. No, me, me care dancer everywhere. So the, the world. So I want to take it on a level. To to be honest with you, more 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 as myself a major laser them there right now. And them and deploy them and you know what I mean? That's that's the aim. So how would you make that transition? How what, what Alright, to, to be uh, to to the time we're living in right now, it's all about um branding and market marketing. You know what I mean? Or you market yourself. Like me tell myself, say, mm-hmm. um, certain the date no I'm not take. Okay. Like the more I'm elevate, it's like it's not like saying I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Me have, me, you have a people that more still 
we have another link and we do thing them for them. Certain things that make sense. Yeah, but certain things wouldn't make no sense right now. Like on the way here, a man called me and say, yo, Ray. I mean, I say, yo, if it don't make no sense, you know, but you just, you know. Enough people understand that them things that like, I come back to your name, you're high priority to the fish. Mm-hmm. No, because you done that, you done it, so you want to do something different. Yeah. I mean, like I'm say, me easily bored and it's when I feel stagnant, it's like, when I feel like I not move. You know, if I feel like, say, every year I do the same thing, I just feel like I'm not moving. I easily get bored. Like, you know, I always like, say, oh, I need to find something new. I'm just I'm not moving from when I'm there. Like, I just feel, you know? Exactly. So, all right. So, talk to us about um, the production side, because I've seen a rhythm. That <laughs> what do you pay rhythm? I just so, want so it and what I miss. Talk to us. What go on? How you start? And, uh, how many rhythms? All right. Yeah. D- um, yo, sh- sh- to, be, to be honest with you now, the rhythm thing, I call so much people name. Make sure this plug in back. I can't hear myself. No, I'm not hear this shit really quick. So, let's make sure. Yeah, man, we're good, man. We are here, man. Stop. We are here, you're Uh uh. No worries, sir, man. So, anyway. Yeah. You, 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 we can't hear you, don't worry. All right. So, you can just take off the, okay. the headphones if you want. We can't hear you, don't uh, worry. Uh, well, so, the right. production style, how did you start with the production? Was it uh, for, like, good no? boring? All right. Or you feel like, say, you just need to do something different? Yeah, that, that play a part in my career where I just feel like, say, but you need to add certain things to my resume, otherwise from just playing the music alone. So it's like, at the time, um, oh, them time, if you be honest with you, I did around DeMarco, Serrani, and them, them people. Yeah, yeah, and them man that was like top producer, me wrote Serrani. You know, I know a lot of them, which, but there was a the guys that I sit around before I used to go to Jamaica. But they're the right people because Serrani do some project with yeah, the people. Yeah, but a lot of people me tell say, yo, you would never know, say, like, Serrani is one of the baddest, baddest engineer, like, yeah. can then play oh, keys, that, yes. play everything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, at the time, the marker came back to Jamaica where him the Fallen Soldier and um, Mission with him, which a lot of people didn't know him really play them I, thing I, there for yeah. Junior Gang, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, him like they run them and him, him they have an engineer actually you know was named Anton was one the work of one of the baddest engineer too so you know you know we have a lot of bad engineer under the quiet way a yeah, lot of people you know yeah and it's like at them they run first I'ma say you know say I got add them thing to my resume and until I go say woman get the first read man me, when I get the first read me never know what me are doing with it you know <laughs> tell you the truth you know never have nobody for vice you know me vice for my own rhythm your vice for my own rhythm yeah the first song me vice my song for me like me sit down in my house and say yo i do me, i do a song for because nobody not sing for me yet or whatever and the rhythm the well bad like the rhythm the bad 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 and then the sprite rhythm sprite yeah and then me drop the rhythm and then vice cartel hear the rhythm and them them time the cartel uh, uh, um them time the cartel now uh, asks if you know rhythm if him like it him just in, in, uh, go on with it, you can't gone with it. I ain't not complaining. Yeah, man. yeah. And we just get up on there, I hear the man drop a song and I say, no, sir. But you know the thing with you, when you advise your own self, you, you get a, 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 something for work to us. So somebody hear you on the as a DJ, they say, yo, yeah. they're good, but yeah. you know, can, they see mm-hmm, me, so it mm-hmm. kind of helps True. as well. Yeah, and at the time too, um, every dancehall artist basically all, um, need international status. You know, Excellent. yeah, as we were international. So, so the, that was one of the power we, we have in the US because we'd run the place and you know everybody just feel like say once them link with we is like you know, you know like them thing, yeah, them, them get them thing I play in the US and whatever. And so it's like I feel like that was one of the thing too. So uh, but I gotta get people voice at the time. You know, that gonna take long, but mm-hmm. when we hear that, my brother, I tell you, the worst was history after that. See, just, yeah, yeah, man, right. Eat and up to this day, can't stop playing. Yeah, remember, remember, say, yeah. remember, say, cartilla, cartilla, in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're most selling artist right now, dance all artists. So the, sorry. But as you talk about the type of artist, say, you say you want to fall over here because you, you want a challenge. In, a, in America, yeah, is it the same? Say, over here we have a lot of UK artists right now, yeah. In America, do they have a lot of American, Jamaican based artists who are trying them things as well? Or does a man just get a break and just keep it moving? Like, the, um, like, let's say, let me again. Are you going to break? By the way, the American one. Kratom. Kratom. Like, Kratom is the only recognable person we actually, and Skeng now, where they, where yeah. UK, USBS. Yeah. And all them things. Like, over here, forward, you know, you must hear, I see enough artists about the place, 
and we talk about artists obviously like like style G. Mm-hmm. Um enough more people we, over here where literally I do dance like how mm-hmm. UK based basically have like UK dance Does America do the same and them just freestyle and we make it make it we go it go. No, um no. It, 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 but I create them in a different league right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Create them in a different league and I'm not see nobody following up right now. See, that's what I mean. Like, so there's yeah, nobody so I wouldn't say else to say. Yeah, that, I wouldn't say that because there's nobody following creating them right now. You know? So for the... Rec- I'm going to see a lot of artists over here. I do them things right, still. Say, for the record, yeah, so it's like as the same people, apart from Jamaica, so the England really have a second base home for dancing. Yeah, I think so. Enough man to understand that I'm running true. from the thing I'm saying, the UK thing and my thing, but America don't have it. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah, they don't. I you know say to be honest with you too, Jamaica is more um Florida is more closer to Jamaica. And UK is like it's more it's more more Jamaica based. Yeah, it's more Jamaica based. And enough for the man them not them those things say like Afi they are Jamaica or if a man called a UK artist or UK selector is like it's a problem, but then we're literally the second um, of it. Yeah. Europe have it, True. but it's more commercial. Yeah, more commercial. Because when me go to Europe, you know, I tell you, like, me, like, me have some, some chronics and some, some Steve Marley dub in my box. So I never play really. I never play yet. I never play in a while. And when I reach Europe, you know, I play it, you know, <laughs> brother. The reception when I get is like, me I say, no, sir, like, you know, I feel great the day when I get that. Like right, me I say, right. you know. That leads me onto a quick, the, the final question because the time is against us. You know what we get? Yeah. You know, you have a whole history, as I said. Yeah, too much things yeah. for talk about, but we have to break it up, you know, <laughs> real quick. But more want to get the views on this, the pricing of dub plates, because obviously, we as a soul man over here, we find it a bit difficult to, like, finance some of the prices that the dub plates are asking for. Yeah. So, my question to you is, what is a reasonable um, price for a dub plate? And if you can explain to me, depending on that. Obviously, the artist, the caliber of the artist. Yeah, the caliber. Yeah, I would say the caliber of the artist. You know, like some of them, new, them, 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 not, them new artists are right now. I feel like they might go too hard. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, with them, I feel like they might go too hard. Pound for one, sir. Yeah, like how much three hundred pound? That are like five hundred. Um, five hundred US. Yes. So um, I think I'm not think that bad. I'm not think that bad. I think about matter about the one. I matter about the more thousand and. I'm fifteen hundred. I want them to be like, like I, I, I want to. <laughs> no, Buju still. You know, Buju are icons. No, that means I start up with the Buju them. Like. <laughs> yeah, them I start up with Buju them. This color that them I try to. And me feel like say them I overdo it. So when them I say them are fifteen and two grand, but then at the day still, if I tell you the truth, if your song really it, you know, I feel like say if some of them not do the dub plate properly. Exactly. You know what I mean? So if you go charge the money, make sure see I do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after you are this, I'm gonna call out, you know. And them sense and dub play because give me a metal. And them not, sometimes you get out some dub play to play them. I'm going to play them. I'm going to make no sense. But the reason why dub play press, I want to back to my original topic. The tic tac thing. Yes. If you choose the song popular, popular. They yeah. think it worth a dub play price. Yeah. So when them do them, say, yo, treat them as sure they stream and the But yeah. you know, say the people who stream it are young people. They don't go clashes. True. So True. this is when I say come back to it. They're using a platform that does really reflect their. They, 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 and they don't craft. care about them really. Yes. Mm-hmm. So when I try to say it's not like me I try this a person, it's just that how does it reflect you other than when you know our hat song, you ask your dub as well, say. So you come back to it, them do the mm-hmm. dub, but then when they play the dub, you know, in a different diaspora, they yeah. tell the people they like Yeah, like st- yeah. So because- tell the people in one space don't know the song. True. I'm sure you say tick tac go round the culture. Go round yeah, yeah, true. It's, it's anyway, that's a different thing. I really want to But that's a tick tac is for a, 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 a niche audience. A fire I would answer it, but obviously the time. So we'll just. Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave topic. Would that even reach nowhere close? But you know what, go with us, make uh, sure, you know? Before we go, we can't leave without we say this. Um, in the UK, which artists you think I do it? Apart from Stylogy, the way everybody don't know. Um, in the UK? Yeah, artists, where, not the one in the way that know it. So they reach, you know, from the ground. All right, since we reach from the ground, yeah. um, ah, I don't know the one there. The one I must say, all right, I don't remember where his name. Where his name? Santa Force, we, yeah. We sang a year for Listen now. I don't know him, I don't know him look, I don't know him, you understand? But I'm there, and when I hear him song play, the song bad. 
them give me the song for play. I was gonna play it, you know, cause the impact with me they're gonna make with the song. Once me make an impact with it, it's gonna be totally different. But me never get the chance to do it because them the lockdown. So what part, song was it? it? But yeah. that song I don't know, but me hear it. And every time me hear it from a dare, yeah. the place sh- shake. Me never don't call theme name, you know, as next artist from style, you know. But I have to give him it because him song every night me hear it and the song really bad. I feel like that's the only song where I really go back to the US and shake up the whole place with. But he must make sure he say my listen to the interview for make sure he say he must link me and give me that song up on dub plate. Because I hear next man on dub plate, I play it before me. When I reach back to the US, I go bench it because I got me out. You know my <laughs> things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How long are you till what? Two weeks more? Yeah, a week. So you have a week for you. Inboxing. Yeah, but me, no, I rate the song, you know, me I tell you, no, me I go get, because me as a man, I don't play a song after, I don't, I don't busy about the place, and he said, I love the song, I go play it, so me can tell you, and he said, I go play it, me just say the strength to me, I go give my open man, no say, yeah, right. it's go serious right now, but I no, never see that I meet him about him song, but. I'm not forward in here, and to be fair, when I'm not forward, we need to organize, even our listening for all the artists, then, even yeah, for big up, life. Big up Stomach Kid too, you know, because if he me, I'm going to call, you know. Stomach. Yeah, okay. me got a uh, stomach kid, me that call him, me that say next to style, but show me ear that song there, no, and that song stomach, there really stomach. give me that buzz there. Me say yeah, yeah that song stomach, there, stomach, I eat. Stomach kid, now out there from before, so more to put him in the category of new. Oh, me not know him like that. Him I just basically him, him know him. More established than. Oh, he's a more established yeah, artist yeah, in London. Like, oh, he been about him, stomach kid. I've no a few good. Him before, him, him there before style? Oh? No, 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 style no, 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 same camp. Okay, same camp, but me know say a style me know. Yeah, so that message, so him known from me, you know, so me I thought the new crap. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So him at the Shanty Force, him at him a lucky place right now. From my depth on the ground, I'm a lucky place. Exactly. Yeah, so, I'm never meet him at him, but I'm a lucky place. Where, where, where's the next, um, where people can see you in the UK? Where you be? All right, to be, um, I think I'm coming back um, for Carnival. Carnival? Yeah, I'm going to take a break right now from the UK. I've been there for three weeks now. A lot of dates, I want people link me for date, but right now I'm just like, I'm going to go back to the US now, I'm going to set things straight again. Okay. Go and look a while and then. Reach back man carnival, which is I think that's the right time for beer. Hot time too, no? Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 UK so a lot time. Yeah. But I got to Jamaica, so. Yeah. People, you know what? We just give thanks for, for the, the, the input and the conversation. And yeah. The, the works that you've been doing over the years, we, we truly appreciate you just powering the up and life show and just giving you. Yeah, man, I'm honest too. Views, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly yeah, I love the vibes in our, um, the UK, to be honest with you. And you know, once we're in the UK, you know, we are going to always there for all the vibes. You don't know, you see me and the exactly. whole team. Manas, manas. Are we can, can we get some social before you go? Social? Oh, yeah. yeah. Anybody who are listening right now, them can follow me at Kareem Hype, you know. You know, or you can go at my website, kareemhype.com. That's K-A-R-I-M-H-Y-P-E. Once you go to my website, you could find everything about me. Like, you'll find my Facebook. I don't really use Facebook anymore much still. I think my manager always on Facebook. But... Once you go on my website, you will find me on social yeah, media like that. Instagram and everything. Anything you need, my SoundCloud, visit my SoundCloud. You know, I put up audio every week because I put up all of the audio since I play in the UK. Okay, wicked. Yeah, come and listen yeah. to a few of them still. Yeah, and I just put out Lit Fridays. That Lit Fridays is really crazy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, me tell us the chug in Steve, man. Yeah. Rick, Rick, I need to go Lit Friday. I need to go really Lit Friday now. My father is Friday. Oh, yes, sir, man. Lit Friday is the place to be. People, no, no, no. that was um, <laughs> the man himself, definitely inside the building. Kareem Hype giving us the history, you know, I remember he go to follow his journey, he's about to be back in the UK, as I said before, he's going to be back in for summer, so look out for the Carnival edition, so, yeah, as I said, he was, uh, we were having a conversation just now, he was saying the first song he ever released, you know, we're going to find it a while ago. Me know, me see him, me see him, me see him, search, see him, search it. You see it, so here are people, we don't know where they this is Kareem Hype, the first production, is called Bad Mind Energy. Yeah. Bad Mind Energy. 